morning, you guys. We're here still in uh, Lome, Togo. We're here in our um, Airbnb, Studio Cozy Climatis. And uh, right now, we're going to have some breakfast. We have a sardine bun here, which um, I bought, found, uh, found last night and bought. And uh, I'm having this for breakfast. And I'm having some water. So for today, this is basically our last day in Lome, in Togo. And uh, we're on our way to our next destination, which you guys should find out. Which you guys will uh, see very soon as you tune in, hopefully, on our adventures. And uh, I can't wait. So for now, people, let's have breakfast. Bon appetit. Things I'm missing. Alright, let's go. Go there. Good morning, people from Lome, Togo. This is Obot here. Hi, good morning. We are going out, and it's now, let's see, it's 9 22, and uh, We'll see what we can do at this time. We have still this day to see a little bit more of the city. Oh, let's see what we can do. And uh, maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. And there we were, back on the roads of Lome, on motorbikes, to get to our destination. Bro. Yeah, so this is the fetish market. This is the fetish market, you guys. And contrary to what you guys think of the word fetish, it is not. Hello? Oh, hey. Hello, sir. Okay, my name is Elvis. This is Elvis, guys. Yeah. I am. The guide. Huh? You know who I am? He is yeah, our guide. Here. Okay, yes. Nice to meet you. I'm come from Benin. You are from Benin? Yeah, of course. I live in Benin. Oh, okay, yes. all the person here come from Benin because we know that when we talked about the voodoo, the it's land of Benin. the voodoo is Benin. Yes. Yeah. So the fetish market here, all the person who working here come from Benin. We are Beninis. Beninis people. Wow. Yeah. So I'm your guide. I will take you around to explain you everything, what we do here, why we come here, the fetish market, and the head of the animal, the bed and the doll. What we will use them to prepare the product to hit the African person. I see. So every case. A question you have, don't worry, ask your question, I'm catching answer you. 
Okay. That would be appreciated. We start right there. Oh, you still have it? Guess where I'm from? <laughs> yeah, just I'm looking. I can say China. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> see, I always say that in the wrong. Man. <laughs> Is it not China? No. Japan? See, that's number two. Always wrong. Wow. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I lose. <laughs> Are you give up? Anyway, after some light-hearted conversations with Elvis, I was ready to learn more about voodoo from him. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we want to learn. <laughs> welcome in the fetish markets. Welcome. As you see, we have around us here the kind of animals, the bed, and some of the dog. You know, in this market, we have two types of the expansion. We had a time, and we take you around the market. And after that, we will go inside to see the voodoo priest. And inside the room, we have plenty of the amulet is yet prepared for the visitor person. We had a chance for the good traveling against the accident. Mm -hmm. We had a chance against the sickness for the good health. Mm -hmm. We have also a chance for the law. We had a chance to protect the house against the bad spirit so so forth. Mm -hmm. When we go there after the explanation, when you yourself you want to buy some things you can buy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Inside the room also the Voju please make the consultation. Consultation. Yeah. And you know in Africa we talk about the consultation. The consultation is like they analyze. To know where yourself, mm -hmm. what disturb you. Mm -hmm. For example, in the whole time we didn't get the hospital. When some person they have the sickness, the person have to go to see the voodoo priest first. Yeah, okay. And then the voodoo priest is like a rational doctor. He make the consultation, like they analyze to check the body of the person, what disturb the person, mm -hmm. the sickness the person have. Okay. And is it after that he can prescribe you the things who can heal you? Who be? All this thing here. Mm. So all this thing we use it to compose it, the fetish, and also to make the medicine to help the person in this Africa. So when you come here, you want to buy the things. Be careful so you don't. Them. Yes, yes. When you come here, you want to buy the things. The price is to discount between you and the seller. All right. After buying now, you bring the thing back to see the value place. He will use it to make the product for your healing. Mm. In this Africa, when we talk about the product, a lot of our product is in the powder. Powder? Yeah. The thing you buy, the good place will pound it or he burn it with the leaves. Okay? And the powder we find, is it that one? We mix with the soap to take a bath to get a healing. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we use to make the African vaccination. Mm. Yeah. African vaccination. Yeah. Okay. And when I talk about the African vaccination, we use the blades, we cut the part of the body mm -hmm. and we put the powder we find inside. Ah. This is what I make the African vaccination. I see, I see that. This guy is African vaccination. Yeah. Like he said, he you make an incision on your skin. Yes. Yeah. And then you put the concoction on, on top the of it. The powder we find, from yes. that one we put inside. The powder, right? Yeah, the powder. I see. And that one, for example, is against the poison. Poison? Yeah. And we have another here, is against the witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yeah. Also on your head, I can see. Yeah, of yeah. course. There, there, there. Against the witchcraft. You know, in this Africa, when we talk about the voodoo, mm -hmm. is against the witchcraft. Yeah. Voodoo is never the witchcraft. Yeah. It's not. Lots of the white person they do the confusion between the voodoo and the witchcraft. Yeah. You know, when we talk about the voodoo and the witchcraft. Is it the same example, like the Jesus Christ and the Satan in the Bible? Yeah. Because. Vodou is against the witchcraft the same way Jesus Christ is against the Satan. Okay? So all the person who practice the Vodou in the Africa they know that you have to do good things for the human beings. We never get also the Vodou doll who do bad things, but only the doll of the witchcraft do bad things for the person. Yeah. You have here the owl. Oh. Yeah, okay. the oil. Okay. You know this oil here in the Africa, we use it is to do the product against the witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yeah. The voodoo priest use it with the butcher. How the butcher there? Butcher. Yeah. Yeah. The dead animal. Uh, the dead who eat the dead animals. Yes. So the buff with the leaves. The voodoo priest burn it. After burn, the powder we find he means with the soap to give you, you take the buff or the African person they like to do the African vaccination. Is it what I do? So that one is to protect you against the witchcraft and also to heal the witchcraft. Okay? okay. So voodoo is to protect and to heal. 
the buff. Okay? We have plenty of the head of the dog, domestic one. Mm -hmm. That one is to compose it, the god we call Legba. Legba? Yeah. Okay. You know Legba means back to the sender. Uh -huh. Back to the sender. Yeah, back to the sender. Mm -hmm. You have Legba who protect the house, the village, who protect also the human beings. Mm -hmm. Legba in the Benin is like the garden. Garden. Yeah, to protect the human beings. So we need the head of the dog, the whole one, and we need just the small piece of the head of the hippo, the small piece of the head of the watch hawk, and then the Vodiko use it, he burn down one, he mix with the clean, and he invoke the spirit of the leg bar inside. When we go inside, I can show you leg bar. You have to prepare for the visitor person to protect the family against the black magic, against the thief, the stealing. Okay. So we have plenty of the head of the animals. Hey, excuse me, the head of the snakes. Snakes. Yes. Yeah. That one is the pattern. We have here the boa. Boa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have here the viper. Viper. Yeah. You know all that one we use it is to do the products against the snake biting. Mm. Yeah. So it's like an antidote against is the poison it? of the snake. Yeah. The body piece punches with some of the leaves and then we make the African vaccination. Or sometimes we have to move the tooth yes, of tooth. the viper uh -huh. to make the African vaccination. Um, and that one is to protect you against the poison of that one. Okay? I have a question though yeah. now. If you uh, got poisoned by the snake before and you used the vaccine, that means you're protected, right? Yeah. What if you get bitten by a snake again? Are you still protected by that vaccine or should you get another vaccine? Yeah, you know, in this Africa, we have the things. The head, they use it with the leaves. Uh -huh. Okay? We have the leaves to heal and the leaves to protect against. Mm -hmm. Do you understand to me? Yeah. Like when the snake bit you, you have the leaves to re-age the head to heal you for that one and also we have the things before the snake beats you we had a chance to do before that one and when, so when we you, you do that one before even if when the snake beats you you can never get the poison you're protected yeah you're protected i see i see it's like it gives you immunity by the way yeah, yeah. Ah. okay yeah, very interesting am i clear yes we have the head of the baboon here baboon. that one in the africa is for the good luck yeah, to do the product for a good luck. I told you about the watch hawk. Is it the watch hawk there? Yes, watch hawk. We have some of the stone here. Mm. That stone, you see that he got a hole. You can touch it to see. Yeah. The hole is natural, it's not making. Oh. We call it the thunder stone. Thunder? Yeah. Thunder, thunder stone. stone. Thunder stone? Yeah. Okay. The hole is natural, it's not making. You know, in this Africa, sorry, the stone here, to get the power, we put it in the water to take the power. It's against the waste problem, the knee problems. Yeah. And also, that stone here in the hotel is like the man 1000. 1000? Yeah. In the traditional medicine, in the spiritual, you know, we say that the thunder use that one to see the person who do bad things to do the justice. So you look through the phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, to see the person who took bad things. Mm -hmm. And he used that one, the black one, to do the justice. To do justice? Yeah. So how does this work then? You know, is it spiritual? When he see the person who took bad things, just he used that one, like to kill the person. To kill? Yeah, of kill. course. To fire the person. That's why we say that in the Africa when you do bad things, the thunder God will fire you. He made the justice. Yeah. This one to detect the person doing bad things to Is you. It? And this one, one to serve justice for you. Is it? I see. Yeah. So that one is the female, that one is the male one. This is the male one. Yeah. Okay. Can you drop it? Can you drop it? Can you drop it? Can you drop it? You have some of the can you drop the bug? The skin of the animals is to do the talisman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
for the protection. Oh, you do inside that we show you. Okay. Okay. I have one more question, okay. my friend. Yeah. How could you tell if a person was under the spell of a witchcraft or not? Like when the witchcraft disturbed the person? Yes, how can you tell if that if witchcraft is dis disturbing a certain person? You know, first of all, in this Africa, you have to make the consultation to know what disturbs you, as mm. I told you before. So is it the consultation who can show you that? Is it your sickness, it comes from the witchcraft, it's not the natural? Mm -hmm. And then, is it that is the body place we use to make you the product before you get the healing mm. okay and also the body place they have some of the blessing they can do in the medicine they prepare to you and that one will help you more against the witchcraft okay yeah so basically you will only find out after consulting the voodoo priest yeah because of course. he will be the one to tell you if there's a spell put on you by yeah. someone else it's like when you get the sickness, you have to go in the hospital to know what disturb you. Makes sense. Is it like that? Makes a lot of sense. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now you have the wild cats. Wild cats. Hyena. Hyena. Yeah. Mm. We even have turtle turtle hide. Yeah, turtle shell. Yes. The turtle shell here. We those, use it. And those are porcupines, right? Yeah. No, that one is the hedgehog. A hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. hedgehog. It's hedgehog. not the porcupine. Hedgehog. Yeah, hedgehog. And here we had a touch shape. We use that one is to do the product against the asthma. Asthma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do the sponge it well with some of the leaves and the product we found. We put it in water mm -hmm. to get the bath or sometimes to wash the chest. I see. Yeah. And we have some of the leaves in the body we prepare to you and we construct it to get it. Yeah. Mm. I'm curious though, during the time of COVID, were you able to create something to You know, we that? have the things to protect you against, but it's not to heal the COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. To protect. So, yeah. you, so the voodoo priest was able to create something to protect you from of course, COVID at the time? Of course. We have some of the composi composition of the leaves mm -hmm. they did and they prepare the person will drink. Mm. Okay? okay? To not get the COVID. But it's not to heal the COVID. I see. You don't have the thing to heal the COVID, but you have the thing to protect yourself against that one. I see. That I see. Okay. Yeah. One more. I need. I'm curious to ask because in Western medicine, there's no cure for sexually transmitted diseases. Do you have anything for that? Like people have contracted sexually transmitted diseases, like HIV, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. There's also cure you know? for that. In this Africa, we have plenty of the medicine mm -hmm. to heal mm -hmm. the VI uh, uh, ash. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. It is some of the leaves. They compose it and they mix together to prepare and the person will continue to drink. Okay. Yeah. To heal that one. For such a disease, like you said, we have plenty of things about that one. Yes. Yeah, in this Africa. Yeah. Okay. That's why actually you can never see more like before. Yeah. Some of person they have it, but they don't die like before. Yeah. We have the medicine we do to hit that one. Okay. Yeah. So here we have some of the metal. We call it the gun, African gun. Okay. That one is for the information. Information. Yeah. You know, in this Africa, in the whole time, we didn't get the TV, we didn't get the radio, we didn't get the phone. But you have the information to pass for the population. You have to go to see the boss of the village. You transmit him all the message. He will call the person, the one who used that metal, past the village by the village to inform the population. So the person have the sign to make, the noise to make. Okay, to call the all the population to come to listen. I will make it. So the person do like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Is it after that the person can say I go and he pass the information? I go. I go. And he pass the information. Ah. The African person who hear about 
the noising of that metal, you know that we have the information who will be passed. That one is in the whole Africa. Yeah, everywhere in the Africa. Okay? okay. And then the person ran away to come to listen. Anywhere in Africa. Yeah. So we have there the founder of this market. Okay, let's go. Amen. Here we have the founder of this market. His name is Baba B. Azonsi. Baba B. Azonsi. Okay. Right. So, he is the one who created the fairish market. Even not this market in the whole type is like, it's just like the African pharmacy. Okay. So, is it this man? As I told you, the market is created since 1863. This market. But is it in 1945, this market is known on the world by the name of Ferish Market. So this man, is it the one, the Voju Prince in the hotel, who think about the Voju Prince, all the other Voju Prince can come to stay in this market mm -hmm. and then we will create the Voju Market. Uh -huh. Okay? And then, we have the relationship with the French person. He called them to come to make a visit, to make some of the picture, a video to cheer. Okay, and then you have most of the visitor person. Like that, the market is known on the world. Mm. Actually, when we talk about the fetish market, it's the only one known in the world. Okay, the market of the Lumi Aquadesua. The only one known in the world. Only one. His name is Baba Gwe, as you see. He comes from Benin. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Have that a leg back. This is leg back. Yeah. The one you talked about earlier. Yeah. Okay. God of the security. God of the fertility. So like you said, God of security and God of fertility. Yeah. You have okay. plenty of the penises. Penises, yeah, these. Mm -hmm. One, this two. One. Three, four. Four penises. Four penises. For leg bar. Yeah. You know, leg bar is just the... The kind of the protection, the garden, as I told you, so so far. And leg bar means back to the sender. Back to the sender, yeah. yes. When you think bad things about me, you will say bad things. When you think good things about me, you will say the good things. Uh -huh. The penis there is just the wood making. Wood making. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we enter there, we show you. And then, is it the person who has some of the ritual we make and the person who believes in the leg bag God mm -hmm. have the sign and he have to wear like that and then that means he have the spirit of the leg bag with him and then he hold the penis with the wood making like that just to show that he is the God of the fertility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So in the Benin, one man have to get his proper leg bag. Like the guardian who protect him. In Benin, yeah, of really. course. I see. All the persons they have their proper labor who protect them, like the guardian. I see. You can sit there, you can go up, take the picture. Wow. You can do the picture later. <laughs> have some of the, the things again. The skin of the crocodile. Crocodile hide, yeah. You know, the skin of the crocodile, we use that one, is to do. The medicine, the mm -hmm. powder against the fire burn. Fire burn. Yeah, when the fire burn the person. Okay. That one, just we need a small piece. We burn it. We find the powder, and the powder we find we put inside. Mhm. Mm yeah, and then you will get the healing. No matter how severe the burn is, uh, it will be cured nonetheless. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, let's go. How can the counting? This is what? Cow tail. Cow tail? Yeah. Okay. The cow tail in the Africa we use it is for the African dance. For African dance? Yeah. And also some of the Vodou priests, they use that one to call the spirit to command them. The king and the queen, they use that one, is it to bless the population. Mm -hmm. In the Africa, when you see the king or the queen, you kneel down and you put that one on the back. Just a sign for the blessing. Okay? We have plenty of the masks in the Masks? Yeah. 
The bass in Africa represent the group actually in the African person. The lodge of the person in Africa, they wear the mask to be in a relationship, to be connected with their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think you have about the penis with the wood making. See that one? That one, the penis. Yeah. The wood wood. So every guy in Benin has something like this? No. <laughs> I said it's... Oh, you, the leg bar, you're talking about leg bar. Leg Sorry. Bar. I like when you have a ritual, the person who believes in the leg bar, he went like that. That means they have the spirit of the leg bar. Yes. And he holds the penis in his hand. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bash. Leg bar. You see, it's the fetish. Okay, like the gods. Mm -hmm. And the person gets. So, is it the ritual we take by and then the Voju place? Is it not one Voju place? Some of the Voju place, they come and they can compose it you, the leg bar. And that one protects you, it's like your garden. Yeah. In Togo here also you can see it. We have it and they call it a Juleba so and so forth. We had a god for all the community, the god of the village, and the god of the house, a house and the god of the human beings. Yeah. In the beginning, all the human beings have to get their proper labor. Yeah. Is it our culture? Yes. Is it the labor who get the penis like that? I see. I don't have a picture in the show. <laughs> <laughs>
the biggest celebration of the Voju in Benin. Okay. So if every person here go on the Benin in that day, mm. the 10th January. It's a huge celebration in Benin. Yeah. yeah. It's a national holiday. I yeah. see. Oh, here's another question, by the way, Elvis. Those heads of those animals, yeah. like the dog heads, the cat heads, all of those animals there, how long do does it take you guys to dry it before the voodoo can use it? You know, in the voodoo community, we use the new things and we use the things who is yet dried. Mm -hmm. Okay? But to conserve it, is it that what we dry it on the sand? Uh. Even not when the things is new coming, the voodoo priest can use it for the ritual. Okay. Okay. So all the things you see here, they are they come from all the parts of the Africa. We have a relationship with the hunter and the forest person who bring us the things, and the things have to be natural dead because a lot of our people don't need the animal kill. Mm -hmm. Only that God will kill the animal, but is it the domestic things? Is not the wild things? Okay, I told you the cow, the chicken, the horse, and so mm -hmm. and so forth. So when the thing is natural coming, we use the blade, we cut the stomach, we put the salt inside, or we have some leaves, we ground and we put inside, and then we draw on the sand. Mm. And then we can use it every time. Okay, some of the bed they can stay there like the five years before you destroy. Mm. But the head of the animals, we have some of the head of the animals, they can do like more than 20 years before you destroy and the biggest that can be like 30 and 50 mm. before you destroy because we have the head bone of the hippo who be here since hippo yeah hippo head mm. and they be here since the time of our grandfather and they still be here it's still here yeah because it it's the head bone that they didn't destroy it's interesting to me that all these come from the entire african continent it's not only Shogo, like yeah. the Benin. Also in East Africa, right? From Kenya, from yeah. South Africa, you get all yeah. Africa. Yeah. yeah. You have there the, the doll. Is it that one, the body fish they used to compose it? The god we call Mami Water. Mami Water, yeah. yes. The of the sea. This one is Mami Water. That one. Ah. Yeah. You know, half fish, half woman. Half woman, half fish. Yeah. Mermaid of the sea. Mermaid of the sea. Why? The, why does this have two faces? Yeah, you know what we talked about the mummy water. Mummy water have two faces. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because we have mummy water, the male and the female one. Mm. The male one we call it densu. Densu. Yeah, densu. Densu. Yeah. And the the woman is it we call mummy water. I see. Is it? That's why they have two faces, the male and the Woman. So it has two personas in it. Yeah, two persons. We have Dolo, those also with three heads, and that one is the only the man. Only the man. Yeah, because the man have the capacity to identify himself on the man, on the woman, and on the animals. Mm. Yeah.